we've had the grace, um, you know, if you're married to someone, then you're in this together. You know, we're on the same team. We're fighting this battle of life together. It's us against the world. They sang the songs. But we've found or seen situations where the arguments that happen in relationships, in marriages, somehow pulls the couples apart. And that is what we're talking about today. How to have this arguments, how to have this disagreement, but do not lose yourself or lose the relationship or distance yourself because of them. Zulu. Many of our conversations are being outside marriage. Yeah. <coughs> They've been talking about how to get into marriage, right? yeah, yeah. how to choose. Yes. And every now and then we want a conversation that is inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's mm -hmm. a conversation <laughs> that is inside. Yes. There's a problem we have been prepared for fighting. What is your fighting strategy? When you fight as a couple, when you <laughs> fight, now you should have a way of fighting, fighting, fighting. So fighting has been glorified as if it's expected. Have all people are fighting, you know, fighting during our fights. Fight, yeah. are fighting, fighting. <laughs> so yeah. the level of fighting has been so normalized for yeah. couples that we almost expect. That the problem with the fight is always us injuries, pain, blows, mm. winners, mm. losers. Absolutely. <laughs> that is true. I told you the other day to be careful with your language because language is, uh, carries carries meaning. When you say I caught a ball, the other day we were talking about a ball. Mm -hmm. How they equate pregnancy with a ball? Yeah. A ball is for games. Fun and games. <laughs> <laughs> you try to. The only similarity is the roundness. Yes. But <laughs> fun. <laughs> Games. And there's nothing casual and fun yeah. about pregnancy. That's true. This is a person we are bringing to the world. How can you be so casual? So they go on to casualize, including getting rid of the ball. Mm -hmm. hmm. <laughs> Today, <laughs> the word fight <laughs> yes. has been brought in to mean it's like you're against each other like this. Yeah. Fighters are opponents. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fighters shoot at. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> they try to get at each other. Mm -hmm. You're trying to win. So, although they may not mean physical fights, obviously they mean a fight of sorts, a tussle, <laughs> a verbal tussle, emotional mm. tussle, a push and pull, an attempt to attack, yeah. defending myself against you. Mm -hmm. So, even if you may not understand the death, when the moment you normalize the language, it imports all those things as if now they are expected as well. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. The words you use open doors mentally. <laughs> Prepare you for some things psychologically. And um, I was asking an, a certain person whether if you knew the community is cannibals, if you knew these people eat people, yeah. would you ask them for direction? When you are lost and you are aware, this community eats people. Yeah. Would you tell them, I'm trying to go to, no, please no. show me the way. I'll just, just oh, keep, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a long distance <laughs> trader. <laughs> Why? In politics, they say, politicians can eat together, but they can't cook for each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> for sociability purposes and for appearing to be united and mm -hmm. humanity, can, courtesy. they can eat uh, from the same table <laughs> with smiles, on, but they can't trust each other <laughs> to cook. Because they'll poison you. Yeah. They, are, they can sit with you, but if they got a chance to eliminate you. Mm. <laughs> so when you're among cannibals, you know they can talk to you physically. But if they got a chance to eat you. They will eat you. <laughs> <laughs> so if you <laughs> tell them you are lost, you don't know where you're going. Yes. They'll direct you to their slaughterhouse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to go slaughter you. Yes. Once you know some words are cannibalistic, they talk about eating each other fighting each other. Mm -hmm. When you know the words like fights, when you know some language was borrowed from cannibalism, you will not trust it. You will rather look for another language. I was telling some guys how we are going to become first world. is first of all to disagree with the financial philosophies of that world. Okay, this is a technical word to say, I'm trying to become rich and I can't borrow advice from the poor. Ha. Some of the poor are my folks, uh, and I can't call them that directly, but I know their advice didn't help them. So they should not impose it on me. We took you to school now. Take care of your young ones. That kind of philosophy, and I'm not saying you don't take care of young ones, I'll throw the responsibility back to you. Yeah. These are your children, not mine. Yeah. I can assist you here and there out of benevolence, <coughs> but it's not duty. 
Yeah. My duty is to my children. You have duty to your children. <laughs> you educated me because you decided to get me. I did not decide to get you. You plan children. Children don't plan parents. <laughs> Are we together? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, the philosophies I'm coming from, if I don't, I was telling them, if you don't deliberately disentangle from them, you will never be set free. Because finance is a, mind, is a mindset. Poverty and wealth is a mindset. Yeah. Happy marriage, sex, true love is a mindset. And if you don't first disagree with the existing language and philosophy among the marriages that are failing in masses, on the one hand, we all agree. Yeah. The marriage institution is collapsing in such huge numbers. Mm -hmm. On the other side, we are borrowing the same philosophy from those collapsing marriages. Wholesale. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we contradicting ourselves? Yes, we are. <laughs> we say, these guys are failing terribly, but let's buy their note. <laughs> and expect not to fail. <laughs> so the one thing I want you to agree with, I yes. told you what, one of them the other day, a trending thing that should have worried you. What is these people are sharing? Mm -hmm. uh, a, 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 a purported preacher telling the congregants that if the person loves Jesus, marry them quickly. The other things can be fixed. Yeah. And I told you to know your limitations. When you write verses in school, they ask you to write the limitations of your research. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they force you to admit. <laughs> it's not perfect. It, it's not everywhere. Yes. It's only applied in this context. Yes. <laughs> Please also write the limitations of your abilities, okay? Mm -hmm. I know motivational speakers told you to believe everything. It's possible. <laughs> possible. <laughs> now let me demotivate you slightly. <laughs> At it. <laughs> to bring you back <laughs> to reality. Yes. <laughs> the, uh, there are places I can There are things personally I can't do because I already delimit. I already sketched. I was able to trace the limitations of my abilities. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> there are places I can't go speaking because that's not my space. I will mislead. Yeah. I will be shallow. I will be yeah. mediocre. Yeah. <laughs> I will be st uh, overstepping my mandate. Mm -hmm. There are contexts, there are discussions I cannot have. Somebody may look and say, oh, come and speak about this. No, no. I'm sorry, that's not my, I know somebody better. Yeah. <laughs> Very far. Yeah. I'm not perfect, I'm still growing. I'm just inviting you to also consider. Although you're a talk show host, maybe, there are subjects you wouldn't host on. That is you can't bring depth, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I needed the money, thank you, I needed the job, but yeah. <laughs> I want to do service to my audience. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do them justice. I want mm. to give them... <laughs> you know, so I saw a speaker who doesn't know their limitations, so they misled. Because the people you're talking to, they trust you. They may buy it wholesale, yeah. but it was so easy to debunk. Because I asked you yourself whether you'd marry any Christian, but just knowing they're Christian, when you close your eyes. Don't, I don't bother to see them, just confirm they're Christian and then book us a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sorry, brother, but no. <laughs> no. You know, yes. and, and I was telling them, how can you be so blatantly ignorant? Yeah. But I told you the problem those people are describing in their own situations usually. Mm -hmm. They live in very dry things they call marriages. Mm. Instead of admitting <laughs> how they lost the way, they decide to mislead everybody else. Yeah. So that when we are all lost, then lostness is common. <laughs> Please. <laughs> the moment you feel confused, start by admitting to people, this is just your opinion. Yeah. I may not be an expert. Whenever you hear a person start that way, respect them. Yeah. I'm not a political analyst, but for my, for my view, what I think, yeah. from the way things are going, mm -hmm. I think politically, mm. Mm. <laughs> it's a citizen. Yes. <laughs> I, I have no <laughs> view. <laughs> There's a guy who said, I have no opinion. I, I have no opinion. <laughs> <laughs> and that became popular. It became very popular. <laughs> it's like we should normalize not having opinion on everything. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I told you about the Kabilame, this guy, Kabilame or something, whatever, uh -huh. who, who, who does shows without talking. And they're very popular. Yes. Like Mr. Bean did shows yes. without talking. They're very popular. Yes. People were so attracted to that, <coughs> not overdoing, <laughs> not over explaining. Stop using the word fighting between you and your partner. Okay. Because it, it brings violence opposition, antagonism. It allows violence, of, it allows blows, it allows tension. It permits. While differences are normal and inevitable, they don't have to be blown to fight. Okay? That's true. 
<laughs> Refuse that language. There are things I'm telling you not to borrow from your successors, predecessors in marriage. Don't borrow this. When they start in marriage, when you are wedding. Now, you know how people fight? The fighting styles are as follows. The one fighting <laughs> style. <laughs> Sign out from that class. <laughs> Don't take notes. No. <laughs> no, we will not fight. We are not planning to be fighting. How can I fight the world and fight at home? Yes. If you fight on two fronts, you lose every day. That's true. Hitler lost because of fighting on many fronts. We wanted him. He was an evil guy. He was killing people. Mm -hmm. But when people study the, the analysts of war, because he had a superior technology mm -hmm. and he had majority of Europe for himself. Yeah. Why did he lose? By fighting on many fronts. Mm -hmm. Don't fight in the world mm -hmm. and fight at home. Okay. You will lose. Hmm. One lady said, um, because I was telling them that, if you hear your partner suggesting therapy, respond quickly. Many times they're suggesting that way because you're very egotistical and resistant. You are not listening to the issue. The moment they take that, that direction, you evade and block them and stonewall them. So because they're not able to pass that point, they suggest another platform, another room, another space where they'll be able to talk to you. The moment your partner mentions therapy, once, twice, respond quickly because there's a bitterness building in them. Yeah. They're unhappy about something. So you undertake that. Sometimes I've even offered for both of us to go. Yes. Although you're the one who needs it. Yeah. Let's go both of us so that a third party can help us converse. If you continue postponing the bitterness that is welling in them will lit up the love and respect they had for you because they, they start feeling unheard and unvalued and unseen. Mm -hmm. By the time you try to scamper and go to therapy, they have unloved you. By so the time the love has gone, they will forgive you, have forgiven him, but I no longer have any love for you. You can eat up good things by ignorance. One of the ignorance we have today is thinking we are marrying to go and fight. <laughs> and so people have also normalized quarreling because quarreling is in the lexicon of fighting. Yes. <coughs> they have normalized co name calling because that's also part of oh. fighting. Okay. G g drawing things because also looks like fighting. fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silent treatment uh -huh. looks like fighting. Yes. <laughs> you know, mm. pulling in children to take sides because that's also fighting. Yeah. Uh, financial blockade and, and, and blackmail. That's fighting. I'm trying to win. Mm. <laughs> yeah. The moment you accept that philosophy, you are doomed. So the solution is as follows. Refuse quarreling. Refuse arguing. Refuse blackmail. Refuse having to shoot at, get at, win, score, put them down. Stop seeing each other as opponents. Adopt the philosophy that we are on the same side. The world is one we are fighting together. Yes. We are fighting to make money, to create a space for ourselves to gain some assets, to raise children right, to travel the world, to build the value for ourselves, to make a happy life. Yes. It's us versus the world. Yeah. It's not me versus you. The moment you start there, everything else takes a different angle. The same differences between human beings will come up, but the approach will be very different. Knowing we are teammates, yeah. we have taken time out yes. to talk about why are those guys scoring against us. It's because there's a gap there. When I move this way, you move this way. Th there are games where timeouts time outs are allowed mm -hmm. very frequently. Mm -hmm. Basketball, yes. you know. And when you realize you need to consult, you stop the game. You ask for timeout. Mm -hmm. Is it 40, there are usually some seconds. Mm -hmm. A short time, yeah. two minutes or something. And you're given the timeout. You go consult, come back. Yeah. That's all we are going to be doing, me and you. Not fighting. We'll be consulting. At, in the evening, when we meet at the... At, at the end of every every game, yes. every day, yes. we discuss what is this. When I throw this, you do this, do this. Okay, can I? Can we switch? Can we switch? We are be going to be consulting like teammates with an attitude of cooperation and readiness to apologize where I wronged, and readiness to listen to how I hurt you, mm -hmm. and readiness to bandage where I, I stepped on you accidentally yeah. while I was jumping to spike. I was trying to score for us. I was not trying to kick you. I'm yes. sorry I injured you. We are on the same side. Look, those guys. We don't want to with them to win against us. You are competing against other guys who are trying to separate you, mm. fight you, take your business, mm -hmm. poison your children, yes. backbite you, annoy you. You are fighting against everything. Yeah. Sometimes you are driving on the road and other guys are getting in between. Mm. So, if, if you approach, there's something the Bible calls the spirit of the mind. There's some things... When the Bible mentions, you gloss over them because they don't click deeply with you. Okay. You don't hear them in your common language. You don't hear them anywhere else. Mm -hmm. But remember, the person who is talking is your maker. Yeah. 
<laughs> not just your teacher, <laughs> but your maker. Yes. Be a child. When a child dad is talking, they ask about everything. Some of them embarrass him when they have not learned which questions not to ask when. Mm -hmm. But the father doesn't fault the child for asking. No. They're trying to learn from them. Yes. Learn from your father. So learn to pause when things don't... It could be that thing, if you break it down, to speak to you. For me, that thing taught me a lot of things. Okay. That although you have a mind to think, there's such a thing as a spirit of the mind. Now, spirit is used in many connotations of the Bible. Yes. But in one place, it means attitude. In another place, it means you are being. Mm. You are being, you are a spirit. Yes. In another place, it says uh, Joshua and Caleb have a different spirit, yes. different attitude. Mm. In another place, uh, it means those other beings, you know, and then there's Holy Spirit, those kind of. So in this sense, he was talking about the attitude of your mind. Attitude means the backdrop from which you process information. The mind will process it. It may have IQ of this measure. It may have this level of education, this level of accuracy. But with which attitude are you processing it? That's why the same professors who are trained in politi politics will take different opinions because of their trained. The minds mm -hmm. are the same. Yeah. But the attitude is <laughs> very different. Very. The perspective, the worldview. So what I want you to be careful when you come to marriage, I want you to come with the attitude of your mind that is team player with your partner it's not team player with your with your people with your family mm -hmm. and then your partner is a foreigner yeah it's an outsider then you are going around and then they're becoming sick and they're hearing things mm. or you're prioritizing your job over them you're prioritizing even our children over me mm -hmm. but it's us it's me versus our children the me and you, we are raising children. Me and you, we have relatives. Me and you, we have a property. Me and you, we have employees. Me and you, we have staff. Me and you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the spirit of your mind that will make a happy marriage. And I want you to start there. Never use the lexicon of fighting. So I'll tell you how to solve differences now. Okay. Without, the, as, without the environment of combat. <laughs> well, that's how they have made you think. Yes. You have to go to war. World War Three. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Currently, we are fighting. We are not in talking terms. Hey. <laughs> Do you know how often I've had that statement? <laughs> Very many times. And they normalize it like, yes. I, 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 you understand, of course, this up, these yeah, things happen. Like, yeah. uh, is that what you want in a, in a marriage? No. <laughs> <laughs> this lady said, the guy told her that when he comes home and she's frowning, she said, me, my, my, my method of approaching problems is frowning. Now she's telling it's an approach. When you go in with fighting, okay. things like frowning become normal. Yes. Even in fact, those people who go silent think they are holier than those who blow up. So people blow up look like they're weaker. Mm. But there's also pull away. So, and I told them, uh, this is both psych psychopathic. Both of them, <laughs> none of them is normal. Stop thinking you're holier because you withdraw. And because this guy told the lady, she, when he comes in and she's frowning. Yes. And emotionally cold, he feels his knees melt, weak, oh. and the food tastes like water. And the house is so tense. And she thinks, you know, women are very common in that method because they think as long as they are not aggressive, they are avoiding telling you bad things. <laughs> you should be happy she is not talking. <laughs> she is sparing you. <laughs> She's being very strong and wise. Yes. <laughs> she'll still cook for you. I'm still here. Yes, I'll still do I'll not my go away. But As a wife, I'm still. But only TV is talking in that house. Yes. TVs have been abused. <laughs> Originally, they were for watching all of us to follow some things and unite. Yes. Now they've been used to replace. Yeah. <laughs> Volume all the way up. <laughs> you know. You hear them talking to other people, but not to you. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On phone, they're cheerful. Brother. But with their cold, emotional blockade is very scarring. It's another way. In, in, in war, in physical war, they call it scorched land policy. You remove everything the person wanted, the joy. Mm. You burn the food, you burn the supplies, you make it barren. So you make the house barren. You remove the flirting, the joking, the play. And now you want me to, uh, no, I'm just doing you a favor. You hurt me, but I'm taking my time. Mm, I'm actually being very mature. Mm, I'm not blowing up. Mm. 
<laughs> that silence of yours is all full of demons. <laughs> that yes. even when you're not talking, yeah. I'm haunted. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not frowning. As the brother honestly told the sister yeah. that she does, he doesn't feel like coming home. He he knew we're in a period of now cold treatment. Yeah. He would try to just come home the last minute to sleep. And she say, "How can I overcome this?" I'm saying, "Now, stop fighting." <laughs> mm. You know, you got to many people telling you, you know, you need to get better fighting strategies. <laughs> it it sounds of, like it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like, you know, like... The aim of fighting is winning <laughs> yes. and subduing the other person. Yeah. Whatever strategy you use, <laughs> <laughs> whether it's gas, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know some of the modern weapons, they look yes. less aggressive. Yes, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> so, because they throw a gas at you and you sleep. That's it. <laughs> and they capture all of you. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> whether, whether it is outwardly explosive or whatever, mm. it is meant to hurt me back because I hurt you. Yeah. So the following is the procedure. Come here, not, not to combat or tussle, but when, 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 when I hurt you, yeah. Imagine we're playing the same team and I stepped on your toes. Yeah. Or I elbowed you mm. accidentally. Or I did not give you a good pass. Mm -hmm. It's among us and we are a team. So what do we do? Now that we signed up to play as a team, talk from the position of a team. Don't talk from the position of anger. Opposite. Why are you not giving him? Look now. No. Okay. If a team quarrels, they'll lose. Mm -hmm. Even if they're very expert. There are two schools that used to go to volleyball all the way to nationals, and they came from the same zone. Okay. The, 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 the community has very tall guys, and their sun is very hot. So classes you go for half a day. The rest of the day they go to play. Mm -hmm. So they practice a lot of volleyball. A lot. Just two schools nearby each other. They mastered the art. And for years they dominated the country from the same locality. Mm -hmm. So you'd find this is a defending champion. Mm -hmm. This is this year's champion. Yes. Last year this was a champion. This is the champion, mm -hmm. but they are so tall, the net was below them here. So they don't need to jump to spike. Yeah. <laughs> they will spike you. And so you will be beaten three to zero. Three set to zero. And after that was Team C. We are sorry. You guys, you have tried. <laughs> we are, imagine having been beaten at provincial, <laughs> and you told Team A and B were in Rwanda. Yes. They were international games. These were from twos you were playing. Oh. Now, uh, from three and four. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> For playing in South Africa. Ah! <laughs> Way! You don't even tell anybody. It was, like, <laughs> it was just a game. So, mm -hmm. for you to see their best team, Team A, you must go to Nationals. Wow. <laughs> and it's entertaining. They would film it just to watch. Yes. Because it's guys from the same area, locality, really. Yeah. <laughs> so, if, if you had to win this time for you next time, because if you, the, the guy wins twice, you'll have no ground to come. You must be a defending champion. Defending yes. champion had to go all the way. At least to provincials. Mm -hmm. So the defending champion wouldn't show up normally. They're just watching to see who's, who's around this time. <laughs> show up. And I said, these guys, they come from the same zone. But because of how they have mastered the skill and their opponents inherently. <laughs> you know? Yeah. They keep fighting and one must put the other one down to win. Yes. I want you to see me and you as being on the same side and I don't have to put you down to win. Okay. Step number one is see me as a colleague until I prove you otherwise consistently. If they start to behave like an enemy, you shall address that now from a different angle saying, I've been trying to address issues as if we are on the same side. Okay. But I notice you stonewall me. Uh, somebody wrote saying the four horses at apocalypse, uh, the, f the, the death of our union. Mm -hmm. the, the four signs when you see them, that union is headed for death. Okay. One of them was stonewalling. Mm -hmm. When a person blocks you yeah. emotionally, so that you can't talk, you can't reach them. He said, there's no hope there. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no point of nourishment. You may have all the water to feed the tree, but if it has put a blockade until the water can't reach it, it will dry. It will. If this person puts a blockade, however much in good intentions and love you had and energy to build a union, yeah. you, would, <laughs> you just won't. Mm. Is to say, the first step you shall do is align with me. Number two, Address everything as if you're talking to a colleague in a whisper so that the enemy doesn't hear. The step number two is to avoid broadcasting our differences because they always magnify. Don't tell your girlfriends. 
don't tell your boyfriend, don't tell your mother, you mm. girls. Yes. <laughs> Some ladies never individuate from their mothers. <laughs> That's true. And they embarrass us as men. <laughs> if you discuss my nakedness to your mother, how will I approach her? Do you think of that when you start describing me in detail? No. How will I face her? She sees me through. Yeah. She knows my weaknesses and my everything. Mm. I want to advise brothers to stop marrying mama's girls. They are unmarriageable. They will embarrass you. Yeah. They will undress you to their mother. And the other day I was telling them, why are you talking three times a day to your mother? Mm. Where, uh, you are a mother already yourself. Mm -hmm. You have a family yourself. Mm -hmm. Where is the energy for it? Mm -hmm. I can't even reach you and call you. I've called busy. Call. Sorry, I was talking to my mother. Call busy, call busy, talking to my mother. I want to be able to reach you so that we can do things together. Yeah. Before you become mine, you must leave father and mother to cleave to me. Yeah. Leaving means creating enough distance for, for a healthy availability for this union of ours. The second principle is that you do not disclose our differences. You do not announce how we are scoring, who is behaving this, who is behaving this way. Trying to look for collaborators because fighting requires collaborators and allies. This time we are not fighting. You don't need allies and supporters to support your point. This time we don't need referees. This time is two of us. Don't bring a referee. Don't bring a, a supporter. Don't bring a, a, a witness with evidence and proof yeah <laughs> let's deal with the two of us and if you cannot separate from your mother don't marry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. please stay there until you're breastfed now yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> and this mother some of them they, they don't have the the courtesy and the dignity when you invite them too much it can even be your dad. I'm just using that because it's a very common arrangement. Yeah. Sometimes it's the guy and the mother. Mm. It's the girl and the dad. Mm. <laughs> any mm. parent, any person whom you depend on before you got married. Yeah. After you get married, I should be your closest person. People keep asking me, is it okay for my partner to be my best friend? Who else should be your best friend? No. Who else? Who else should be that close to you? <laughs> if I can be your friend, why did we marry? Why, what made us marry, by the way? Mm -hmm. Isn't it a person you connected so well you couldn't live without? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't it a person you wanted every part of your life to be part of? Who else are you talking so much? To be best friend means so close, you're talking so constantly. Who else is that close to you? Nowadays, guys are also suspicious when there are two ladies who are too close. There before, there was never a ground for suspicion. Yes. But nowadays, <laughs> with the privilege of perversion, <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> so the second point is don't bring that that but it's whoever they is. Don't okay. tell my story to anyone. Okay. By the time you are telling to other people we should have broken beyond repair. Don't gather a clan. Don't bring a mediation party. Don't call my uncle. Don't mm. call your auntie. Don't gather the village folks here to explain how I'm behaving. If we can't solve between the two of us, it should not be solved. Yeah. Okay? Yes. Not everything should be solved. Yeah. Some things indicate we can't work. Mm -hmm. Let them be. Save yourself the stress. You just ex uh, expose yourself. This person may change superficially, yeah. but they still don't ch cherish you. Yes. There may be peace superficially, but there's no love, <laughs> no friendship, yeah. no connection. Mm -hmm. You called my mother to say I no longer come home early. I start coming home early and sitting on the sofa with my phone. What has improved? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I don't want to come home to you, yeah. I don't want you. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Why are you bringing uncles? Mm. <laughs> what will it change? I may change it supervisionally, but then punish you by removing the essence. I come home only to say now no TV should be played here. So I come home to make to kill life. Yeah. Um, here, I've come early. Wanted me early. Yeah, yeah, go tell your people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the last point is assume mm -hmm. picture the life. Build something to look forward to. Have a common future, both of you. Don't live day by day. Yeah. Have something you're looking forward to. What you want to surprise the world with. The achievements, the children, the good life, the things you want to... to. People are motivated by common goals and they feel like they are conspirators. They have secrets. They have small things yeah. they are doing and they can't wait to show the world. It feels so good when people are... You guys, how did you do all this? You didn't tell us. You surprised the world with good things. So one way to always remember we are to bring closeness and a colleague feeling and secret feeling and having our own small things we are doing secretly. So we, when we can run a project for two years, nobody knows about it. We're just the two of us. 
it feels so good. It's a confirmation we are a team. Yeah. So when we have identified something somewhere and we save up for it quietly, buy it, and then during one of the meetings we are surprising. It's a little surprise, guys. I remember that thing we mentioned sometime. <laughs> 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 yes. Here's the title deed. Yeah. Yeah. Who did this? Mm -hmm. You look at each other, you smile, you surprise the world. Yeah. Not you have already gossiped with all your girls. <laughs> Uh, he didn't even give me much money. I had to take a loan. <laughs> no. He lied me. He lied me. He cheated me to this marriage that man. <laughs> you want your friends to say, I admire you guys. Yes. The way you can pull these. Yeah. And he didn't even see that coming. Yeah. I admire you guys. So that way to make sure you we 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 we, we even when we disagree, we are protecting something. Yeah. It's when you know we are building towards something quietly. Yes. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. This conversation is so powerful. For all marriage folks out there, I hope you have learned something. And this is how we sum it all up. You are not supposed to win arguments with your partner. Stop mistaking your conversation, uh, conversations with the win-lose dynamics you have at work and elsewhere in the world where it's all about scoring and winning points. With your partner, you are not competing but building together. Your arguments are supposed to lead to a mutual understanding. Better to stop being sharp-pointed and competitive then and start listening more and expressing your side more softly and in an accommodating way. If you don't aim at understanding where each of you is arguing from, you'll both lose irrespective of who thinks they won because the relationship will be.